are, how you doing? Today's video I'm going to show you two different eye looks. I'm very excited before starting all this. I will just put this on my face because I will do my whole face. Uh, I'm very excited to, to tell you that I just bought a lamp and I have two lamps right now. I, before starting this video, I washed my face, okay? It's not like, oh my gosh, she's putting cream and her face is dirty because I, w I went to buy that thing without makeup on. But yeah. I not only bought the lamp that I'm going to show you, I'll show you the box. Give me just a simple, a simple lamp. Um, I was shocked because it was a, a discount on the lamp. I was there with the vision of having one desk lamp that it was 200 pesos and I end up having one that is 180 so it's some sort of a, a good deal you know 20 pesos is one bus ticket so for me it's kind of a win and I, we got a kind of several things there, uh, the bulbs, the LED bulbs and everything. But the one that I bought, because you saw two different dots on my eyes, I bought this lamp. It's a very desk lamp. Maybe you, you have it there for maybe five bucks or something like that. Um, maybe they are, that is the same price here, but I have no idea. The last time I checked the dollar was 40, 41 pesos, one dollar, so I have no idea. Um, so well, the two I, um, different eyes that I'm going to do is using this uh, MAC um, eyeshadow palette, it was a gift. You know this channel is all about affordable makeup, not having tons of stuff, and but if you have something that it was given to you that is not cheap i will include this as well i will include that as, as well this was a gift and mac is one of the brands that they stand out a little bit because in argentina we have a problem with foundation and shades um we have uh, not many shade range like you can see in other states it's like when you uh, in the past in a couple of years ago or maybe last year or in 2017 um, you have this brand for example physicians formula they have three shades and well here is the same thing you have three four shades um, the brands are trying to bring a little bit more, especially the L'Oreal Group brand brands. Um, I, I'm happy that we have here Urban Decay, uh, something that I was very excited. They they started selling products last year, and the year before, by the end of, the end of the year, we started having England. I didn't know about it and I was kind of why why I didn't know about it well first of all I'm going to have one of the shades as a transition shade the only mattes here as the black this brown here and the red well I would just I never used the brown so I would use one uh, the brand in one ear one ear oh my god one eye and the other ones, I don't know, maybe I will play with the reds. Like, be honest, I'm Aries, so red is kind of my jam and it's calling my name. Um, but there are these three here, this triangle here, that they are shimmery, glittery, but in a good way. Something that I don't have in the other palettes. Um, I was about to say that this channel, the only brand so far that I will have in a kind of high-end section is MAC. 
uh, because MAC is one of the brands that bring most of the shade range or maybe say all the shade range so first of all I will do one of the eyes I will put this in my crease very very lightly I don't know why no one is talking about this kind of eyeshadow palettes they're kind of nice oh my god <laughs> pigmented okay I will place the shade and I will buff it out I will buff I don't want you all over the lid so I will just concentrate this because I just put so much I really want you to see what I'm doing okay and this one is the first that I film with two lamps in this new setting so I really don't like filming in this place and it's a kind of my whole um, I live in an apartment and the whole apartment is kind of having the exit to the same place so it's a lateral sort of uh, apartment and I have a busy street and no, no matter where I am the sound will be the same and the only place that I have like hidden from that noise is are the bathrooms I have. I have two bathrooms. One one is small and the other one is bigger. Um, so as you can see there is a bus just going. Um, yeah, I'm kind of maybe you can see it a little bit patchy because I was kind of blended in blend out certain parts of this and I can I, I am not seeing it patchy I would just place a little tiny 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 bit more this area so I can even it out uh, but well I just got these two lamps and trust me they have tons of power because I got the LEDs that I had kind of a high. For example, we bought today um, three light bulbs for the living room and they are um, 7.5 watt of, of the, the, pot, the potency or, or, the, or they are the pot, that kind of potent. And these two are nine. So, yeah. Well, now with the same brush, I don't want to use another brush. I will use this shade just right there in the outer part of my lid. So the shade I used first, it was the one is called, I'm sorry, I have this sheet. I, they came with the, with the names anyway. Uh, I just skimmer or maybe, <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> maybe that's the pronunciation I will put all the names down below and I will try to tell you exactly oh, what I see um, satin finish, a shimmer, a metallic like metallic like is not uh, a, a full metallic but it's some sort of there but it has no glitter in it um, a, a full foil is because with a, um, with a brush a dry brush is kind of a full impact with the same brush, I will use the Been There, Done That. You have that name. You cannot have a larger name. This is a satin finish brown, I put it right here. I just put the first shade that was skimmer was a matte brown. I, I would consider that a cool toned brown. And this is a cool toned brown. This is so, it's a little bit darker than that and it's um, a sudden finish towards metallic like towards I don't know if you can see I think I will try to see if I'm gonna go closer the only thing and with um, I will try to do I don't have uh, what is the brush because I just put them all there oh. I haven't washed it. Okay, I have only one of the of the other kind, 
except this one this one I have two and one it's a slightly bit different but let's say I have three but this one I have only one and I will use what is called V Frisky it's a V it's a V Frisky that is this gold I will put that gold just in the inner part of the lid and I will not wet it right now I will just put it I will just pack it because I don't know if you can see it, it is shimmery I am not moving it around I would just swatch the, the shades I used in this eye for so far so I have the three shades in this and I'll show you this was skimmer that was a horrible swatch but it's the only thing that I can see this is uh, be there done that and this be frisky I don't know if you see I hope you do I have no idea probably when I see the footage of the video will be like no they they, they are not they won't see anything but if I could compare these two well what are you this this one that is the, the brown and this one this is a tiny bit warmer so it's in the cool side but it's a tiny bit warmer but that's the, the, the thing so I will pack a little bit more so I can have all that impact and you're free to do a waterline or anything you like so that's one eye I will do the other eye and I will use a different brush the same brush but a, a clean one I will use Flaming Femme that is that red so I will be using this red here this one it, it's not a powerful or in, impactful red that it might be um, maybe no, this is orange but there is a red some sort of like that that is not that it's kind of a muted red but it's, it is a beautiful red I don't know if you will see that I put there it's a cool toned red a dark red like I call it the Rimmel eyeshadow palette that is called uh, Spice Edition has a red like this but it's a tiny bit darker so yeah we need to be careful with the shades because there are some shades that they will be like oh my god what have you done you've been into a fist fight or something so we need to avoid trying to look muddy um, I'm trying to show you how I do my looks this kind of looks weird um, but yeah it is kind of difficult for me to do <laughs> with uh, this kind of setting but in the in the bathroom when I was standing with my hand I was kind of having the phone like this I have a mirror now, right now I was kind of telling you exactly what I was doing having the phone like this doing very close-ups here I, I cannot do that and let me tell you that our eye shape is totally different what it might work for you might not work for me and vice versa so that is kind of nice so this red and if you see that it's kind of okay Danny but I can see the, the, the transitions and everything we use a face powder I will, I will grab it mine I will grab my face powder with another brush that is clean I will just press like this so you can see and I can smoke and I can blend the edges I 
a little bit more so there is nothing else there if I just gone too far below down a little bit further that I that I did when I have a face I would just put the powder like this and let it cook this sponge is wet by the way but going to the other side I will try I will use this orange this orange and I will use it in the outer part of the lid with the same brush I think it's the same brush yes I think so I, I, I have no idea because I mixed the, the brushes and I will do the last part of it but don't is it Danny what are you doing I want to place the shade like this I will do this thing that I did with the other eye if I have power on okay if there is power on it will be perfect but it doesn't <laughs> so I will do this slightly I don't want because I will I will go with foundation here so I can have a guidance there and I will place this shade to the half of the lid because I have an I, I envision something and with a smaller brush when I have a smaller brush this brush that came with the palettes um, the palette that that I mentioned I just mentioned um, the edition palettes from Remo any one of them it comes with this detailed brush that is very good it has this sponge that I don't use oh well and I will place the black right there I have this thing here. I will grab that red. So I'll grab this this red again, and I will smoke it out. This is a layering situation. again but I'm just grabbing a little bit of it because I don't want to see dark 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 so What, I'm, what I want to do is to deepen the V, the outer V, but not like, I don't want a full black situation. And this is way pigmented. That is the black. I just grab a little bit. Um, when I tap off, I, I, I just got that on the, on the finger. Well, once that I have that, I'm very happy with it. I will go with the orange again on top a little bit so I can confuse you like oh my god you have different orange there and I will bring the same brush that I had a bit frisky but I will use natural teas the the orange I used is called Mischief Minx, is this the name of the palette. 
and the totally trouble is the black and now I will have the natural teas in the same brush and I will pack because it has shimmer there are this one is kind of a cool thing for the day right what do you think different looks do you need this um, MAC Minx uh, Mischief Minx eyeshadow palette definitely not maybe you have in your own collection the shades uh, in different eyeshadow palettes so you can use them there I will um, pick what are you I don't have it here I will uh, pick my um, I will do my face of camera and be right back well I just finished my whole face and I will tell you that on the lower lash line of this one I got flaming flaming femme that is the one flaming femme that's the same that I had in the crease and mischief mix a little bit in this area and for this one I just only got the matte the schema all over the lower lash line and for my blush I used this shade muted with my translucent powder the one that I use for setting my under eye I use this powder for my whole face um, it has a tiny bit different formula but it's just a tiny bit of the the one that is in the United States that is called um, for this this one um, the same it's kind of a slightly I use this on the brows this as a and the lipstick and the mascara I used I haven't put anything in on the waterline and I used this mascara for my as a mascara and this um, lipstick that is called warm with it uh, I don't really like it because when if I don't know I will show you my hand it's a beautiful shade don't get me wrong but when you shear it out I want to it has the sparkles I don't know if you can see the sparkles and I don't really like it maybe you cannot but you have sparkles all over the face so two eyes how they look so comment down below if you like them if you will do them where you want to use them and well probably I will see you in the next time if my teeth are a little bit yellow it's because I was drinking mate and the sherba is kind of a green tint to it so yeah I don't have white teeth naturally so it's kind of I don't want to lie to you guys but well I hope you liked this video thumbs up if you did I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.